this video we'll cover the rectangular solid outside probing cycle. So we're going to select the rectangular solid outside soft key. <clears throat> and that brings us into the cycle. First thing we need to do is we need to position the X and Y of the probe stylus eyeball center over the top of this rectangular solid as close as we can. And then we're going to bring Z down to within an eighth of an inch or so um, from the top of the part. We're then going to give it the X and Y probing length. So let's say that we have a three inch by three inch square that we're going to probe. I'm going to add an inch to that and make it a four inch by four inch. The reason I do that is because the closer I am to the center, the true center in X and Y of this I am, the closer to the actual size of this I can be. But I want to be able to go the half the width or half the, the distance of the of the rectangle plus a little bit of clearance. And I find that adding an inch just seems to work really well. So it's going to move over two inches in the X and then begin to drop down to our Z drop down depth. If I didn't put enough value, didn't put enough distance in there, it would accidentally possibly trigger the probe at the top of the part unexpectedly and I'm going to get an error and the probing cycle is going to stop. So that's why I add an inch. On the Z drop down depth, it's from the position where I had, I had hand wheeled to, down far enough to clear the, the radius of the stylus on the, or the probe stylus, the little ruby, but not bump into the bottom of the vise or whatever. So let's say we're going to go down three eighths of an inch. Then it wants to know preset X and Y. What is the absolute position of the center of this rectangle? In our case, we're going to make it X0, Y0 for our part setup. But if it wasn't, we would put the X and Y, absolute X and Y location of this rectangle from zero. Once we've done that, we're going to select the start probing cycle soft key, followed by the flashing cycle start button.